Welcome, people, to another Medieval 2 online commentary battle. It's time for these guys, one of my favorite armies to wield lately. The Holy Roman Empire uh, Pike and Shot, shot Variation Army. Uh, I have... Uh, it's basically my standard army, just a little bit varied. As you can see, I have two dismounted Gothic Knights, a battle line of four Lance Knife Pike and four Hand Gunners, four Aqua Boozers up front, uh, loose formation, and... Uh, uh, two lines deep and I have three of my Teutonic Knights and a General's Bodyguard on that wing and writers on the far uh, out uh, left wing and as you can see I started very far away from my opponent because I bet it upon I bet it on that he will have his Kazakh Musketeers because I saw he was going to choose Russia as his uh, as his faction but he didn't bring any Musketeers he also has one two three four Aqua Boosiers He's got one Kazakh calf over here, another Kazakh calf over there. He's got his boyar sons. He's got one two Tsar's guard. He's got one general's bodyguards. He's got two three general's bodyguards. So he cheated uh, just a little bit. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I didn't see that he cheated when uh, when we started the battle because I just was uh, I was just uh, into the battle. He's also got some peasants over here as a meat shield. He's got spearmen. He's got uh, some more peasants, Berdichi Axemen as his uh, main threat, as the main threat of his army and the uh, infantry component at least. And uh, basically he's committing he's committing to the fight right from the start. He's going to move his boyar sons there to harass my guys, but since I see he wants to take the offensive, I say okay, no problem. I let him do that. I'm going to I'm going to chase that, those guys with my uh, with my writers. Uh, powerful more advanced unit than uh, those boyar sons and I'm not gonna kill that many of his guys but no way in hell they're gonna stand out uh, st stand down uh, to the fight they're gonna rout after one shot or two and what my opponent does he rushes his army up front he wants to meet me uh, head-on and I've seen a lot of times people do this mistake uh, they use their Kazakh they use their horse archers uh, to to attack down the middle that's just that's just wrong on so many levels and this is also so wrong on so many levels you don't charge your Tsar's guard and you and you heavy cap down a line of pikes come on you're making this way too easy uh, on the other wing I, I have charged down his guys with my Teutonic Knights there goes my journal killed by a guy wielding a Russian guy wielding a really, really big axe and I have charged uh, charged these guys really nice and uh, they are under heavy fire from my aqua boosters over here which are in loose formation again um, not uh, like his guys into uh, into standard formation and as you can see his uh, attack wave crushed uh, like well basically like a wave on a rock on my hand gunners and on my lance knife pikemen and bear in mind, these hand gunners are nothing spectacular in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um, they do more damage uh, to morale than, than actual damage. So I'm moving in my dismounted Gothic Knights uh, from the back so they can join the fight. And I'm also using my, my writers, um, uh, my two units of writers to inflict some damage and to, uh, to keep these guys, to keep these route, route of guys that have rallied. Uh, out of the battle and to eliminate them completely. Basically, these guys have pretty much done their damage, these writers. Um, in one of my previous battles, I think I have used them not that effectively. My calf here is also free, and I'm going to flank these guys, and this is pretty much over. I love this battle, it goes to show you a lot of things. It's, uh, it's a pike and shot army, as you can see from the whole Roman Emperor. Not much, I mean. There no musketeers or lancemen are not even the best uh, pikemen in the game. Dismounted Gothic knights are a buggy two-handed unit. So again, nothing much. But it was it's really fun wielding these guys. It's, uh, I love it. I love doing it. I love I love wielding these uh, writers on on one wing, the heavy calf on the other wing. Okay, uh, I must give it, give. Uh, I must admit that it was made a bit too easy for my opponent in this battle, even though he cheated. But nonetheless, in the front battle, as you can see, it's pretty much over. He's got his uh, general's bodyguards over here left. I'm going to just harass them. I'm just going to shoot them down with my, with my 
Kamen Riders. Oh, ah, the Kamen Riders, pity. But no biggie. I have the Teutonic Knights in the back, uh, which are going to take care of uh, the German bodyguards. There they go. So, as I was saying, you can, there's a lot you can learn from this, this battle. Um, I don't. I never understand why people go against the flow and uh, very often do not play on the real advantages a faction has. For example, I don't know the Cossack musketeers or the Russians. For example, with its mounted force so or the, the missile component. Um, yeah, sure they have also great cav, but he didn't even play on his cav. He just brought four or three uh, generals bodyguard. That's spend an insane amount of money on those guys but I don't know that's just my opinion he didn't play on his uh, on the real strengths of the faction he chose and besides that there he goes he is defeated and besides that he I mean the obvious mistakes he made he charged down the middle with his calf he uh, well uh, he used his uh, horse archers to harass my guys down the middle which don't do that and uh, well as you can see, it was a clear victory. I just lost 300 guys. He lost 1,200 guys. That's pretty obvious. Uh, if you can, if you take a look at the casualties inflicted, you will see this is not a balanced army in that and that respect. My Teutonic Knights are the killing machine. As you can see, these two units inflicted what uh, like 500 kills, 400 kills. Um, my writers also did pretty good. The hand gunners, well. As you, see, as you see, it's more of a morale damage. Same goes for the pikemen, they're just the angle and this tactic, but they chew up uh, the other infantry pretty good. The Aqua Boosiers, I love those guys. The Aqua Boosiers did a great job, as you can see, not that many casualties, but again, um, doing their morale damage. And my dismounted Gothic Knights, which were there just for the shock effect, again, um, uh, to uh, route the enemies, uh, engaging my lines more quickly. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this battle, and I hope you've learned something, and I hope you will stick around for the next battle to come. So take care, guys, and bye-bye.